What are the six skills required for you to become a blockchain developer? So in this video, we'll be talking about the six skills for you to become a blockchain developer. Maybe if you're coming from a tech background or a non-technical background, or maybe if you have a, a programming skills before, or if you are coming completely from a, a non-programming background, this video is for you. So make sure you watch till the end to understand, to know what are the skills required for you to become a blockchain developer. But before I talk about the skills required, let me introduce myself. My name is Ram Amancha, founder of Blockchain Experts Club and also a certified solution architect, a blockchain solution architect. I have about 18 plus years of IT industry experience and worked with uh, some of the Fortune 500 companies along with my uh, couple of two startup companies. So that makes me eligible to talk about the topics for you to learn the skills to become a blockchain developer. If you're not subscribed to my channel, do subscribe so that you can learn more about blockchain and technology. Thank you so much for uh, subscribing. And now let's learn the skills required for you to become a blockchain developer. The first skill you need to become a blockchain developer is JavaScript. JavaScript is used in almost all the websites today, whether you take Facebook or Google or any other a common website, there's some level of JavaScript involved because of the uh, automation, except those static websites, there's no um, interaction with the user. Most of the dynamic websites have JavaScripts, maybe simple like uh, validation, the email validation or maybe keeping up uh, uh, a length validation. So some of those are examples. So now you understand what is the importance of uh, learning JavaScript. There are additional uh, programming language involved, but for you to start getting into blockchain path, you have to learn JavaScript first. So where do you, where do you learn the JavaScript? Well, there are various sources for you to learn JavaScript. And here are the uh, recommendation I have. The first one is you can take up any paid online courses. There are uh, courses on like Khan Academy or Coursera or Udemy or uh, Code Academy. There are quite a few online platforms for you to learn JavaScript. The second, uh, the second source uh, for you to learn JavaScript is through training centers. Now, in your city, in your town, there are quite a few uh, training centers available. If not, probably you can see the nearest town where there is a training center is available, which teaches JavaScript. Make sure you learn from the best institute in your vicinity. The third uh, source could be online platforms, you no know, free online platforms. There are uh, quite a lot of YouTube channels like mine, where a uh, lot of uh, YouTubers are teaching JavaScripts on YouTube through their videos. So you can watch those videos to learn and uh, you can uh, enroll to some of these uh, free platforms like EDX or maybe a uh, Google Learning and something like a free code camp. There are quite a few platforms available for you to learn JavaScript at no cost. And the next source could be learn from the leaders, you now learn from the uh, experts online. Uh, the difference between uh, learning from the uh, platforms and the coaches is that with the coaches, you're doing mostly a one-to-one. -one. Similar to the training centers, here uh, the coaches are teaching you directly. You, it could be you know, a recorded course or maybe it could be a, a direct session with you or a group of people. And finally, the books. Now, there are quite a lot of books available for you to learn JavaScript. Now, I don't want to recommend any particular book, but you take up any examples uh, like you know, JavaScript for a beginners or JavaScript for dummies. There are a lot of courses available, a lot of books available online and offline. You can learn from that. And uh, learning JavaScript could take anywhere between two to six months because you have to know each and everything, each and every topic, each and every uh, concept of JavaScript. So it might take two to six months to master JavaScript. The next skill you need to learn is Node.js. Node.js is the middle layer for most of the, the modern applications in a three-tier architecture. So with the Node.js, you'll be communicating with the blockchain and with the, the front end. So you can imagine uh, like maybe you used HTML, JavaScript to run your, uh, to develop your front end application. 
and you will be using Node.js to connect your front end with the blockchain. So the uh, Node.js is uh, crucial for developing services which will interact with the blockchain network as well as with the presentation layer or it could be a simple web application or it could be you know a, a mobile application any other of brand and application it could be you know iot device or display unit so it's important for you to learn node.js to develop these services which will talk to the presentation layer and the blockchain network where do you learn node.js well very similar to uh, JavaScript, you can learn Node.js from these uh, paid platforms like Khan Academy, Coursera, Udemy, or anything, uh, any other uh, paid uh, platforms. And also the uh, training centers, similar to uh, JavaScript, followed by the free online platforms, then learning from online coaches, then the books. Very similar, I don't want to explain that in detail again. You can choose the, uh, the available, whichever is the available platform, whichever is the convenient platform for you to learn. Two to eight weeks is the ideal time for you to become a, a good Node.js developer. The next skill you need to learn is command lines. Since most of the applications uh, are developed in the blockchain are quite new and blockchain is evolving and blockchain works with many of the uh, interfaces not just the uh, devices it, it will be talking to different uh, iot devices so there's no ui for you to work on so if there's no ui then you have to use the command lines or shell scripts to uh, invoke the application or to run the application or maybe to to check the transaction so so that's why you need to learn the command lines for you to you know maybe deploying application or maybe you know uh, just wanted to add a new node so those are uh, done using command lines so it's important for you to learn the command lines to become a blockchain developer so similar to um, the other languages where do you learn uh, the command line well um, i don't recommend any of these online platforms for uh, command line you have to depend on the books uh, there are quite a lot of books like you no know, linux uh, command line and shell scripting that is one of the uh, good book i read and uh, you can look at those uh, books online or offline and the second source could be you know command line help documents you know whether you take up a shell script or maybe some of the unix foundation they have a very good documentation so just go there and start going through the commands available and see what is the uh, outcome of that particular command and what is the usage of that particular command and that will help you to learn the command lines faster and better. And uh, you can probably take up the online uh, help here, like some of the YouTube videos, or maybe the uh, Stack Overflow. Now, if you wanted to see how to add a node, then Stack Overflow has some of the answers, so you can depend on those answers to learn. It's it's more of a, a, a time-taking process, but you now if you're stuck, you know, we all know that Stack Overflow will help us in resolving issues faster and um, probably you can learn from the experts somebody who's good in uh, command lines who's good in shell scripting go to them learn from them if they're offering a paid course do take the paid course to take a toll road to learn faster and better these are the sources i recommend for you to learn command lines and um, once you learn these command lines you have to practice or you only when you practice you will be mastering because learning is different practicing is different so make sure you practice those command lines now install a vm or maybe some uh, a tools a free tools available online for you to practice it because only when you practice these command lines it will help you in the uh, the career and how long does it take to uh, learn the uh, command lines well i think it's going to take at least two weeks uh, but it's going to take years to practice command lines but i would say minimum two weeks to learn the basics required for you to work on the blockchain technology and next thing you need to learn is basics of blockchain technology. The basics of blockchain technology, like you have to understand how blockchain works, what is blockchain, what is smart contract, what is uh, proof of stake, what is proof of work. There are quite a lot of concepts available, quite a lot of fun, uh, fundamentals you need to know about blockchain technology. Because without knowing the, uh, the blockchain basics, you will not be able to master the uh, career uh, in the blockchain space. So 
learning blockchain basics is very important for you to get into blockchain because you know if somebody says, you know, can you write a smart contract and if you don't know what a smart contract is all about it will be a troublesome activity so how if they say you no know, apply um, a proof of stake concept here if you don't know what is that it's going to be a problem so it's important for you to learn the basics of blockchain and uh, the basics of blockchain can be learned from very similar to where you learned uh, javascript or maybe the uh, node.js you can get it from the paid platforms you can get it from, you can learn from the uh, training institutes you can learn from the online platforms free and paid or probably you can learn from the coaches like me or the trainers like me and learn from the white papers since we do not have many books as of today and there are a lot of white papers available uh, there are a lot of use cases available you can learn from these use cases and the uh, white papers to learn the basics of blockchain technology and how long does it take to learn blockchain is uh, up to a month uh, a minimum of month i would say to uh, understand to adopt or to and to learn the basics concepts of blockchain technology after learning blockchain basics you have to learn the programming skills the platform specific programming skills you have to learn you now once you go through the basics of blockchain you will probably have a, a clarity whether you want to go into uh, open blockchain applications or a closed blockchain applications or maybe if you are working in our environment if they are working on a b2b applications or our enterprise applications you'll be getting into uh, something like a hyperledger platform or maybe if you are working on uh, some of the cryptocurrency applications then you'll get into something like ethereum uh, for developing the smart contracts so uh, once you have a clarity on which route uh, you're taking then you have to learn those specific uh, languages it could be solidity it could be golang and where do you learn um, very similar to the basics you can learn from the played uh, platforms you can learn from the training centers you can learn from the uh, online free uh, platforms online coaches online trainers and learning these programming languages might take anywhere between 4 to 8 weeks because you already learned about javascript node.js and of course for some of these applications you probably have to learn c c++ that since you already have some background you should be able to learn these advanced skills faster but again these skills will be you have to keep revising as you're working but to get you uh, to become a blockchain developer it, it might require anywhere between 4 to 8 weeks and finally you need to learn something like the uh, usage of environment you know how to uh, deploy the application how to uh, you know deploy the code to mainnet or test night so those are uh, used with the help of uh, ides or the environments or could you could be calling as frameworks so you need to master these for you to become uh, a full-fledged developer this will go hand in hand it's not a specific programming language if you are using uh, solidity there's a specific id if you are using uh, golang there's a specific environment or id so you have to pick up those ideas and this will go hand in hand now as you're learning uh, as you're practicing it you have to practice how to use these uh, ideas it could be something like truffle or ganache and there are more uh, ideas available probably how to use visual studio code again as i said those will go hand in hand it's not a specific cell it, it has to go along with your learning of uh, programming skills and when you start practicing it you know the importance of uh, these particular IDEs or SDKs or the frameworks so where do you learn how to use this uh, well you can learn from the uh, paid online courses or you can learn from the uh, the platform specific documentation I don't think so you have to spend anything on this you just uh, look at the uh, IDE specific documentation then you should be able to learn or maybe you can take up the uh, the free courses available online and it might take a minimum of two to four weeks for you to adopt that uh, IDE how to use it what are the commands and how do you uh, use a command so that in the ideal term but as I said this is an integral part of your development and we you'll be using it uh, as you uh, sail along in the blockchain development so these are the skills for you to become a blockchain developer I hope now you learned what are the skills required for you to become a blockchain developer and if you are not subscribed to my channel yet do subscribe so that I can share more useful information about blockchain and technology. 
if you like the video click on the like button and share it with your friends so that they can also learn about blockchain technology and if you wanted to know how you wanted to get a job in blockchain space and what is the secret to become a blockchain developer join my uh, upcoming webinar i'm gonna share the three secrets for you to become a blockchain a successful blockchain developer where i'll tell you how to learn how to practice how to get a job in blockchain space so the link for my webinar is below click on the link below and join my upcoming free uh, live webinar where i'll teach you the secrets i sincerely wish you uh, get into blockchain and grow in blockchain space and have a successful career ahead thank you so much for watching have a great day bye